when I met my husband, should I tell you that one? You want to hear? There were people coming, we used to call that S class beast. In those days, people told me the beast. My husband will come with his car. That car. Eh? I should tell you the car. We will leave here. You want five minutes extra? They will invite me again if I try that. So, this car, the first car he had was called Shupo. When a car has a name, it is a member of the family. Yes, he's a member of the family. You spend time with it. You nurse it back to good health. Every Saturday, we spend at the mechanic. To so buy rice with the poor and be chopping and be eating there because you have to babysit the car. Jalili, show your alternate to a low shade. No, but go to bed, you know. This second car now, he had upgraded by the time he met me, a 505. That 505. <laughs> Let me just suffice to say, which one of the 505 stories do you want? I should give you one. I'll give you one. One day, we bought a full tank. <laughs> full tank. My husband was very proud that he had money that day. So he said, fill the car. It was an elf, a elf petrol station that was near that Alausa. I don't know if it's still there. They filled it. He was happy. As we just turned the corner to go right, I just said, bruh, 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 bruh. the tank came down. Because it had never had full tank. The wet was too much. It was not made for more. It was made for like quarter tank, half tank. Toasting me, and I said, This is the person God said to marry. Hey, hey, hey. One more story, and we end. Hi. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. In choosing a husband, I sought for the kingdom of God. I asked God, A man that fears you, a man, it doesn't have to be rich. What do I want to do with his riches? Is something wrong with my hand? I don't understand why you need to marry rich men. It must be because you, you have decided in your life that poverty will kill you. If not, if not, what do you need the man's money for? That you must come and become a parasite on the man's destiny. That's the truth though. I'm not saying a man should not take care of you. But when that becomes a criteria, do not marry a man who can pay the price of your wardrobe. Marry a man who can pay the price of your destiny. Who sees your glorious future and knows that I can call. Everybody was writing on whatever child group. Mr. A is such a wonderful host. He's so great. He's so happy with his wife. I said, because yeah, she, I had seen her like that before. That she was made for more. So if my shoes were even clapping then, he knew that she was made for more. Do you understand? When I met my husband, I was driving a Daewoo racer. Uh, those of us who are old, they remember Daewoo, Estero. Uh, you know, you have dated yourself. Uh. They know you are 40 something to 50. They now know that you are not as young as I am. <laughs> anyway, that was a big girl car. And he was driving this 505 that I told you about. Anyway, our first Christmas together, we were going to, you know the story? You don't? Okay, I'll tell you. I should tell the story, hands up. I will tell you because I love you and I love your pastor's wife. So we were going, he was, he had like, he was broke, but I had money. I was loaded, I had like 300 naira. So, um, and I was pregnant and I said, okay, we should have fun, but at least we can go to the beach. They don't pay to look at the waves. So, is it true? You have to, anybody who cannot have fun, guys, anybody who cannot have fun on your budget, she will destroy your destiny, leave her. So, we went to Badagri Beach, but, uh, and the way I am, they say I'm generous. Before I knew, I'd given out the money to all the boys on the beach, everything. It was 14 and I left with me or something. We were on the way home, and then we saw them selling chickens, and I thought to myself, ah, ah, this is our first Christmas, we should kill something. So we bought a chicken. Now I don't do birds. I don't do birds at all. So we had to put the chicken in the boot of the car. So when we got to our house in Yaba, uh, please note that when this guy met me, I was living in Ikoi. Never mind, it wasn't my house, but Ikoi is Ikoi. So, but I moved to Yaba. Actually, I was living in Ogba, but we decided to meet halfway in Yaba. Now I hear people saying I don't do bridges. 
on what not to do bridges. You are living in your cousin's house in V, in v High. You are saying you don't do bridges in your house. You will do more than bridge. Roger. So we moved to Yaba. Like I said, we got out in Yaba. He carried the chicken. The chicken was wet. Oh! I said, this chicken is dead. He said, mm, it's dead. But was it dead when we bought it? I said, oh, you know, I just got married. It's online. I said, my mommy said we should not be so. My mommy said the same. My mommy said we should, uh, that you cannot be eating dead things. He said, but was it dead when we bought it? I said, no. He said, let us cut the neck again. So he cut the neck. So the first Christmas together, we ate a dead chicken. I would have liked to say we ate a dead chicken, but we did not. Because his auntie came with five of our children. And you know, seven seats, they filled all the seven shares. So even that chicken, I ate the legs, the feet. That my, in my mommy's house, we don't eat the feet. We throw it away. <laughs> but that's what I ate the first Christmas. But if I want to eat an elephant this time, we can. And not, my parents are professors. I grew up by age three, had taught the whole of Europe. Why didn't I go back to tell mommy or daddy that I only have 300 naira and this is our first Christmas? You're the one disgracing your husband. Must you travel? If you don't, if they don't see you in London this summer, what will happen? They will close Oxford Street. Stop exposing him. Let him be great. I need to go now. I think time has gone. But let me tell you something.